Alright guys, we're going to be solving question 2 from the chapter 7 of Hibbler textbook in Dream Mechanics. And we need to determine the internal force, uh, including normal force and shear force and the bending moment in the beam at points C and D. Uh, we can assume that the support at B is roller and point C is located just to the right of the 8 kip load. So we have two different supports in here. As always, we're going to start with the free body diagram of the whole system. So we have a pin at point A, which means we have both X and Y component, AX, AY, and at B, we only have one component in Y direction. Since it's a roller, it can freely move in X direction. Let's call our X and Y in here. So we only consider Y component, or we can call it BY. So we are in equilibrium, sum of all forces equals zero, and same for the moment. We're going to start with our moment equation about point A, since we have the most unknowns at A. And that way we can find our BY. So we have the moment of BY, which is in this direction. So it's a counterclockwise moment. So positive BY times the distance from A to B, which is 8 times 3, or 24 We have the 40 kip foot counterclockwise, so plus 40. And we have the moment of 8 kip. This one's clockwise, so we have a negative sign for this one. 8 times the distance from uh, the line of action of the force, which is what we have in here, or 8 equals 0. Now we can find our by. So BY would be 8 times 8 or 64 minus 40 divided by 24. Let's calculate this one. 64 minus 40 divided by divided by 24. So that's going to be one kip as for the first reaction. Now we can move on to sum of all forces in X and Y equals 0. In our X direction, there's only one component, which is AX. So AX is zero, and we're going to do some of all forces in Y equals zero. That's going to be BY plus AY minus A equals zero. BY is one, so AY would be eight minus one or seven kips. And that's pretty much all the reactions that we have. Now we can move on to uh, internal forces for each of these two points C and D let's start with the C so for C we're just going to do a section at C and we consider the left side of the free by diagram uh, the left side of this beam and we're just going to draw the free by diagram for that so we're going to have something like this this will be our point C we can consider one shear force one normal force and a bending moment of mc we have the eight kip force uh right to the left of point c and we have our ax and ay in here and this distance uh would be eight feet so uh, we're going to use our equilibrium equations for the new free body diagram. So we're going to have do sum of all forces in x equals 0. Uh, we already figured that our ax is actually 0. So uh, that means we only left off with nc. So the normal force at point c is 0. Uh, we figured that ay is 7 kips. So we're going to do sum of all forces in y equals 0. 7 minus 8 plus, uh, so we consider VC downwards, so minus VC is equal to 0. So our VC is actually minus 1 kip. Negative sign shows that it's actually upward. And the last one would be our moment equation in order to find the MC. I'm going to do about point A. And the moment that we're going to have is the moment of VC. 
which is clockwise, so negative VC is 1 kip times the distance 8. We also have the moment of 8 kip, that one also count, uh, clockwise, so negative for that one too. Another 8 plus MC. Uh, so I made a mistake in here. So VC was actually upward, so the moment that is going to make is going to be in this direction or counterclockwise. So this one's positive. So 8. Uh, minus 64 equals 0. So our MC would be 7 times 8 or 56 kip foot. And we did not get a negative sign that shows that the moment is actually counterclockwise. So that's everything for point C. We have mom one more. Let's show that with red. So we're going to do our section at point D and we're going to consider this part of the beam. So let's just draw the free by diagram for that. We have the point D in here. We can call the normal force ND. And this will be our shearing and bending moment MD. We have the 40 kip foot moment at that point and we have the force at by which we found is one kip and that's pretty much everything for the free by diagram let's do our equilibrium equations sum of all forces in x equals zero there is only nd in here so nd is zero we can do sum of all forces in y equals zero that's going to be our vd which is what we are trying to figure out, plus 1 equals 0. So Vd in here is actually negative 1 kip. So Vd is actually downward. And the last one is sum of all moments about D counterclockwise positive. So we'll be Md plus 40 plus one kip times the length of this part of the beam if we get back to the figure that's also eight feet so equals zero so our md here would be 40 plus 8 48 and we're gonna have a negative sign kip foot and the negative sign shows that the moment is clockwise and that would be the final answer for this question hope everything was clear let me know if you guys have any questions and you guys take care. I'll see you in the next one.